One man is dead and a suspect is in custody after a shooting at a Burlington bar early this morning. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Lucy Kale. Our Haley Morgan spoke with a community member on the Church Street Marketplace District Commission about what he thinks the city's next step should be. Another shooting in downtown Burlington leaves one person dead. And it was ironic because I was actually out and about canvassing just on Thursday night and I was talking to Alex. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's glad to see that things have calmed down and we haven't had an issue like this in a while. And, you know, the next night later I wake up to a text message today from a friend saying, oh, look, we had another gunfire incident. Christopher Hazley has lived in downtown Burlington for many years. In fact, he lives right off of Church Street. He's on the Church Street Marketplace District Commission. And in all of his years living in Burlington, he's never seen violence in the city like this before and is calling on local leaders to do something. I think moving forward, we need to have a conversation uh, about whether or not we want to continue to allow firearms into um, you know, bars and uh, other downtown establishments. According to police, the shooting happened at approximately 1228 a.m. on Saturday outside of Red Square on Church Street. Police say they arrested 22-year-old Aaliyah Johnson of South Burlington and recovered a 45 caliber pistol. Burlington police say a community service officer heard gunshots and responded to the area. When he arrived, he found 30-year-old Tevil Williams of Stone shot. Officers attempted to provide medical care to Williams, but were disrupted by a large crowd that surrounded the officers. They say the crowd had to be pushed back in order to preserve the crime scene, which included shell casings, bullets, and blood evidence. According to Burlington Police, the shooting stems from an altercation between Williams and Johnson, where Williams is alleged to have assaulted Johnson inside Red Square. Bar employees made them both leave out of two separate doors. Johnson exited one door and moved towards the other to confront Williams on Church Street. She then allegedly shot him several times. There are concerns in the business community. Nobody wants their business to be associated with gun violence. It's not a good look and it discourages people from coming downtown. We reached out to Red Square for comment but did not get a response. But the bar said in a social media post it would be closed for the day to let staff members heal from the incident. Police say they are still investigating the shooting. Reporting in Burlington, Haley Morgan, Channel 3 News.